on to the obelisk of Kamun. I have no idea, um, uh, run. Uh, I have no idea how this is going to go because I think this is, um, I don't know. I mean, would it be a stretch to say that this is the most difficult level in the game? Um, because certainly those Atlantean levels are, uh, oh, <laughs> Those Atlantean levels are a bit tricky, but there's something about this level that I, I said when I did the um, uh, when I did the cistern, I had a bit of trouble getting my head around this idea of the water goes up and then the water goes down and then the water goes up and then the water goes down. We have to go through that one, don't we? Yeah, that's one first, uh, and then we'll deal with the other ones. Um, and how it just sort of confused my brain a little bit and I think it's kind of the same with this level is that it's got a kind of layout that is very confusing in trying to figure out where you're going and what you're doing and the staircases, I mean I'll probably bitch about them a bit more when we get to them but the staircases that are slopey and then slidey and then slopey it always confused my brain about this level so you know we'll see how we get on with it we should probably just deal with the crocodile because there's there's the key we have to get, but there's also some goodies in in the water as well. Hi. Come out, come out, so that I can shoot you. There we go. So the key should just be around the corner here. Yep. Um, will it be in that? Oh, there it is. Oh, there's something weird going on. Oh, god damn it, Lara. There is something weird going on with the colour. I don't mean the dark patches. The water seems a bit different. I mean, am I just imagining the water's now got a bit of colour to it? Was that it? Oh, no, there's a medipack there. Anything? That's it. Right, so that other bit, I think it's just uh, some items and some panthers, if I remember. Oh, Lara. Oh, if I remember. I just want the midi pack. Come on, Lara. Thank you. How kind of you. Um, oh, water. Uh, air, rather. Um, I think it's just panthers and items, but, you know, um, we might as well since we're here. And I believe it's I believe it's in this level that the um the Atlantean uh creepy creatures start I wonder if maybe we should switch to because those panthers are a bit tricky. That was a bit silly of me in the previous video to uh just go after them with pistols. Oh twenty seven. Hmm I wonder if we'll keep the shotgun for the Atlanteans. Right, okay. Magnums. It probably is best just to dispatch those panthers as quick as possible. I can't remember. I think it might be the two other blocks that they are, uh, they are in. Oh, yeah, this is the one with the drop. Oh, gosh, it take quite a while, even with the, uh, even with the, um, magnums. But if I remember correctly, it is just, uh, yeah, I just saw some magnum clips when the, the door opened there. Is there anything back here? Nope. So it's just magnum clips and I'm sure there's something else as well. Nope. Get the button reassignment. Um, it's kind of a weird thing to go, you know, like to actually drop down here just to get a couple of items. But I suppose it's, you know, it's adding a bit of variety to the the other two blocks. I think it's just a wee corridor. See, some of the design in this level is actually really nice. You don't see that quite as well on the PlayStation. All the nice design on the walls. I like stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, where are we going? Upwards. Ah, shit. I 
forgot about the button reassignments. Because <laughs> R R two is now my walk button because my uh, R one button isn't working very well. Oh well. Right, let's try this shit again and let's try not to fuck it up this time. Oh shit! Sorry, Lara. Did that look like a pair of legs? Was that supposed to be part of a bigger statue at some point? <sighs> right. Okay, up here, walk button, walk button is down. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck it, there was something, there was an item of some description in there. Oh, fuck. But, uh, it's not worth going back again for it now. Uh, my tactic with these two, because this is the ones with the uh, panthers behind them. Pull the block out and then jump up quickly. And then that panther should, should in theory, come running out. Oh, I'm sure they did. Or do I have to trigger it? I'm sure I did this. Maybe they just come running out and they oh wait a minute. I've just been using pistols because I just I oh I guess I have to trigger it. Maybe I'm thinking about I, I would imagine um when I was younger there was a t oh no it's the other one. Oh it's the other one. It's got the medipack in it. Uh, I would imagine there was a time when I would have just uh, ran for the nearest platform to jump up on whenever animals were around because this game scared the shits out of me back in the day. So that'll help us getting into that door. Um, in fact, I remember being really, really scared in this room because what? Oh my God! Seriously, Lara, you're not impressing me with your gun skills. Because once we get the the door that's in the wall up there, once we get that open, we can actually hear the Atlantean uh, uh, mummy creature thingy, whatever it's actually meant to be. Um, we can hear a moaning, and that sound of them moaning scared the absolute shit out of me. Uh, the first time I played it. I remember being actively scared of going up in there just because of the noise that they were making. It sounds kind of silly now, but, you know. Maybe when you think scary games, Tomb Raider's not the first thing that jumps to mind, but... but it was pretty creepy. Oh, God damn it, Lara. Come on. I'm not hearing anything. Not the best place to have a fight, but yeah, those bastards when they started exploding. Ugh. Walk, 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 walk. Right, so number one's come down, and I, this always confused me. Like, when we go to pick up these items, they're clearly on the bridge. So, how did they actually? I mean, were they just hovering there? <coughs> Sorry, Lara. Right. 
Oh, well, I suppose there is something that they're shown sitting on, but seriously, they're just sitting on the actual bridge there. Anyway, yes, yes, yes. Uh, we're going to save. Because I do not trust myself. Right, oh. So, I think the... Um... I believe the next, oh yes, it's down there, isn't it? There's an extra bit down through there, I think, that we have to. Ah! I do like the look of this level, you know, like the sort of the, the, the yellows of the sandiness, oops, sliding, uh, and the, the sort of uh, blueness of the walls. I don't know if that's supposed to be some kind of marble thing or something, but... Um, what am I doing? Seriously, I... They can't get me up here. I might as well just use pistols. Hi. Oh. Yeah, I just did that. Come on. Right, okay. So this is another one of these climby ones, kind of like... I don't know why I'm bothering with that just now, because honestly, if we fall, I'm screwed. But yeah, this is kind of like St. Francis's Folly Part 2. With all the, the highness and the potential for instant death. So this should be fun. Yeah, this always... Uh, come on, Lara, you know you want to. Come on. Come on. No, seriously. Cool. Uh, but yeah, th this is actually, you know, the, the, the visuals in some of these levels is absolutely fantastic. And this is one of them. I just love the, the, the colour combinations. And, uh... Oh. Uh, so I cannot... Is that just a straightforward... No, it's probably a running jump. Wait a minute, is there, yeah, there's a, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I just, I should go over here first, there's a medipack over here, I think that's what I saw, well there's definitely something. something down there that we need to go to I can't quite remember so but I think we have to climb right up first right up to the very top first of all come on this is unbelievably tedious but um, I think this is still uh, better than like trying to take one step forward and then take a little step back and all that. Am I going in the right direction? Or should I have... <sighs> no, I should have. I don't trust myself to... Um... Oh, God. I was sure I was making the wrong... Oh, God walk button. Um, I don't trust myself to make that run and jump there with a, a piece of furniture sitting there, which is probably why they've put it there. Um, I keep having this fear I'm pressing the wrong buttons. I mean, this is what happens, I think, when I get too high up on levels in Tomb Raider. I'm just like, oh, God, no, she's going to die. Oh. 
wall. Is that like supposed to be cracked walls? Because it kind of looks more like a tree effect on the other side of the room, but it probably is just meant to be damage and wear and tear. I think it is something that this game does very well. I probably, uh, it, it, it's done very deliberately in the grease levels to give this idea of decay. Um, but actually this stuff here is in better condition. You know, overall, compared to the, the stuff we see in the Greece level, the, the the stuff in the Egypt level seems to be, seems to have stood the test of time a bit better, so maybe that's what... Oh! Oh! Uh, maybe that's why it is more aesthetically pleasing, you know, rooms like this. But I am kind of a sucker for colour combinations at any... Oh, no, wait a minute that any sane person would be like, no. Um, I wonder if the shotgun's more effective. I can't remember. Oh, hi! Gosh, you came out of nowhere. Oh, bugger. Well, I guess it is, but the slight problem of them exploding is still something of an issue. Right, so that, I think that opens from the other side, doesn't it? Oh, and there's that hole there. I don't think we... Oh, no, it's on the other side. Don't want to go down the hole yet, if I remember correctly. Which I'm never sure I do with it. Oh, fuck me. Oh, maybe we do have to go down the hole then. I thought there was a switch. Missed something somewhere, have I? See, this is the problem with this level. I just can't. Uh, I can never get my head around any part of it. Right, okay, down the hole we go. Oh, yes, here it is. This is a big empty room. Um, I hope that's just really long hands that these people have because otherwise that could be interpreted as being a bit rude. Oh. Anyway. Um, oh, hi. they deliberately give them big growling faces so that it doesn't look quite as uh, quite as bad you, know, you don't feel quite as bad when you kill them ah uh, now there's stuff up oh right okay can't remember the stuff in the other two alcoves but we might as well have a look Ugh. come on Lara <laughs> Right, so that's the, um, uh, that is the, uh, slope changing to steps, but it actually sounded more like, uh, when my dog's got a bit of hair stuck in his throat and he goes, <laughs> yeah, that's what that just sounded like. <laughs> Nothing! Oh, that's bullshit. Surely... Surely there should have been s Oh, there's... Yeah, right, okay. Yeah, so this is where it gets confusing for me because you s you have to go back up the steps but then only halfway up and... around here don't we? Is there anything here? Well yeah and then we have to change them to steps and oh. Oh 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 oh. Oh. Oh that's the bit I was dangling down from wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 
So, will this bring the bridge down? <coughs> no, that'll just change more of the, uh, that, that's another hairball. <coughs> See, it's just the, the, I mean, there's there's many levels in this game where you can see that this causes this to happen that allows you to do some other thing. Um, but th there's just something about this level that just always confuses me that I just, I have trouble seeing where the dots connect. Which maybe means I just need to play it more, but, um, or maybe I've just played the grease stuff too much. Oh, is this not the bit where all the, the graphics start glitching out? Oh, that's interesting. I thought that the, when she's shimming along here, the graphics go all weird and you can you can see right through it. Mind you, PC version. Not that I'm complaining. I'm not complaining I don't have a glitch. Uh, I have to fall down there, don't I? Because she can't climb round corners until uh, until Tomb Raider 4. She's not strong enough at the moment. <gasps> Did I just make an Angel of Darkness reference? <laughs> Hairball. Gosh, that is very rude, these pictures. Or maybe I'm just... Maybe I've just got naughtiness on the mind, but there, that is very rude. Oh, come on, Lara. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't, I wasn't, was I? Oh, no, that's just the other, all the oh, right, I'm going upwards. Yeah, 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 okay. Oh god, see that's the sound I'm talking about. Yes, feel free to keep running away. Yes, that's what I like. An enemy that runs away from me so that they explode from a distance. That's what we want. Right, so that's taking us back through to. Yeah, right, okay. Okay, so, um, come on, Lara. Right. So, um, oh, ready back. Um, Right, I don't like being this high. I don't like being high up in Tomb Raider games. So I guess back round and down the steps. Like, I, I'm not even joking when I'm saying I have no idea where I'm going. I just, I, I just, this level. But we don't have to go all the way back down there though, do we? Do we just, um, ah! Come on, Lara. There is something about these gates that I actually really like. I don't know why. There's something about um, something being a kind of caged off area and you have to go out of your way to try and find the way into it that, yeah. Um, but it just gives a sort of um, garden-y feel. I mean, I don't know. Like, with the, the grease levels, you can sort of see how it was one thing and then something else was built on top of it and then something else was built on top of it. You can see that. Oh, so we've got two of them down. Um, but with... Oh great, so that was there all along and I just missed it. Well, just as well I came back. Um, with this I can't quite decide what anything is here. I mean, was this supposed to be like... It does have a sort of gardeny feel to it, like maybe this was some kind of... Uh, closed off area. Right, where are we going? Do we climb down again or... Um...
Should we maybe... Right, I'm gonna save here because a jump like this always makes me very, very nervous. Uh, okay, let's try. Ah. Uh, forward, Lara. Um. So can I drop down from here? I mean, am I likely to... Why am I getting the feeling... Am I supposed to jump over there? I've kind of got a... Oh, I'm probably going to have to reload, aren't I? Oh. Oh. Ah, now this smells of secret. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Cool. So... Uh, where, oh, right, okay, so there's a, so there's this, but I've already pulled, yeah, I've already pulled that down, haven't I? Yeah, that's pulled down, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's just those step thingies. Right, so, um, I'm not sure if I've come exactly the way I was meant to, but we might as well just go in here and, um, oh fuck, it's this bit. Right, okay, so, right, okay. So the first thing we're going to have to do is, see, th this room's got these two wankers that, uh, uh, will come out as soon as you touch the floor but we can just jump back up here and we'll be fine because they're not at the or I think have they come out yes there they are unfortunately pistols um, <coughs> unfortunately the PC version just doesn't play the music because there is a wonderful wonderful piece of music that plays right here um, Uh, it's a real shame it doesn't play because it's really fantastic. Um, it scared the crap out of me. I mean, uh, these two guys turning up here doesn't have the same impact or it doesn't trigger the same feeling of, uh, oh my god, what's happening? Uh, which is a shame. I wonder why. I mean, I turned the music off. Uh, in my version because it's terribly terribly bad you know it's it plays reasonably okay but then as soon as I um oh no wait a minute we're shimming yay shimmy oh um but as soon as I I start recording footage the the music becomes very very patchy I don't know why um so I just turned it off uh but even then, I know that the PC version just plays like sort of um, atmosphere stuff in the background. Now, hang on, I, hmm, which way is it we go? We go in there, so I think we have to go up here first because there's some, there is some goodies. <sighs> Come on, Lara. I just want you to sidestep. Right, round the corner and... <sighs> Fuck. Okay, well we just saved a moment ago, we should be fine. Oh, 
Oh god damn it. Alright, let's do this again and let's not fuck it up this time. Medipack. And is it Magnum Clips? Yeah. Cool. Walk button. Right, so, um, oh, right, okay. Oh, I suppose I could just run, jump, and then, is there anything, oh, there is something over there. I mean, this is one of these silly rooms where you have to get from one side to the other and the, the, the bit is inaccessible just because of this one little thing. So you're going to have to go all the way around in a really stupid way. I mean, I, I mean, I am just picking on the game for being old, but, you know, there would be better, better ways of doing that now. I'm not going to grumble too much, though. Where, where am I going? Do I not need to... where... Right, okay. Right, I didn't have to come back round. Oh, shit. Right, okay. Okay, come on, Lara. We know what we're doing now. Right, down. Um, and is it... Round this... yes. Right, okay. I mean, I think if, if I could change just one thing about it, honestly, it would just be that Lara moved a bit faster because, you know, when you've got sections shimmying like this, it is hard not to get unbelievably bored just waiting for Lara to get from one end to the other. Oh, yeah, and then we just, yeah. Yeah, and you have to have all these silly, kind of clunky level design bits like this because she's not going to be able to go around the corner for another three games. I suppose that's one thing that maybe maybe did actually really help the last revelation was her being able to go around the corner. It was last revelation, the first one that she could do. Because I played that last summer and it just seems that the uh, the level design is just a little bit tidier. And maybe it is just because of being able to implement little uh, elements like that. That you know she can go around a corner so you don't have to have this platform here so that she can land on and then turn around and then... Um, and grab another ledge. But then again, maybe it is just selective memory. Alright, so is that all of them down now? So I can actually go and get the stuff now. Oh. So I should be able to just, that's not too high, no, so I can just come off, run over to the, uh, that corner there, and then that'll be a quicker way than faffing around with jumps and such. Great, awesome, so we've got our three, uh, thingamajiggers, and then we can go through that hole in the bottom and end up back at the beginning of the first level. Which, um... I heard, I think, again, I think it was probably Toby Gard on the anniversary commentary, that this was supposed to be it for the Egypt level, and then he got really annoyed at the Sphinx uh, at the beginning of the previous level being so crap, so they designed a new level just around a massive Sphinx. Um, which is probably uh, a good thing that they did do that, because uh, that is 
one of the most memorable moments. Uh, in Tomb Raider is when the camera pulls back and just shows you the scale of it. So, um, I believe that's it. Oh, oh, there's some items down the bottom I forgot to pick up, isn't there? There's, sh yeah, there's shotgun shells there, and I think, is there something else in the actual water? Yes, there's magnum clips there. A minute, I think Lara turned right round. Right, okay, so, where are you, shotgun shells? I like that bird design. There. That's cool. I don't think it means anything. I think it's just there for flair. Right. Where is the big hole underground? Of course, there's the one, it's the last side I come to, isn't it? Right, we're going to pop back up, get here, because I seem to remember there's a few pickups down here as well that we can get to. Uh, um, and some of these. Oh, there we go, magnum clips. My look button doesn't seem to want to work underwater, no. That's very, very annoying. So we'll just have to swim into them, yeah, the shotgun shells. I'm sure they do this just to mess around with it. Oh, small mini pack. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, oh no, I sh Oh, fuck it. Oh, come on, Lara. I'm sure they put underwater items just to fuck with the player. Come on, ladder. Come on, 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 come on. <sighs> and there's a dude up there, isn't there? Yeah, hi. Come on, ladder. Shotgun shells, your favourite! Pick them up! I'm sure she opens up half her med her half her medi packs when her health's getting low and it's just all this water just falls out. Honestly, I could probably just make a run for it. But let's kill him. He is an abomination. Up, up, up. Oh, and this is part of the previous level as well, isn't it? Because you see... Yeah, you see all that. This was really cool the way the levels overlapped, you know, the, the, the in a sort of uh, safe kind of a way, like you weren't ever going to, oh we can just use the regular pistols, you, you weren't ever going to get mixed up, I mean the first time, the first time I played the last revelation I was so confused because of the constant, um, uh, the way you could go from one level to the next and then back to the first bit and then back to the next bit and oh it confused me so much yeah but this was done really well I like this the way they, they pulled this off because of course by the time you're halfway through the, the, the previous level you've completely forgotten about that there and in fact, that there is actually pretty unimpressive compared to the one that we just took them from. Um, can I go back through there again? I, I can't remember if... You know, that would be kind of... Um, oh, yeah, it's closed again. And of course, I won't be able to open it. Oh, shotgun shells. 
No. Um, but that, that would be mildly amusing if I could just replay both levels again. But that would... Wait a minute. Can you see through the gap? No. I don't see why people do this in the PC version. In the PlayStation version you could angle the camera in a certain direction and basically see through the door. Which did come in handy sometimes. Oh, for God's sakes. Right, come on. Right, so that's the Ankh. What was that I just saw? What is that sticking out of the graphics? There's something up there. Now is that in addition to this or is it something I missed? Yeah there is, there definitely is. This is... It's entirely possible I'm wrong and the graphics were just glitching out there but it certainly looked like there was something there. Oh, come on, Lara. I am not taking no for an answer here. I want to see what that was. It looked like it... Come on, Lara. It looked like it might have been a medipack. And the likelihood is I've never noticed this before because in the PlayStation, the PlayStation's got its gl gr graphical glitches, but I... I don't seem to remember there being uh, every item in the game popping through the graphics, so I might be about to see something that I've missed before. No? That's a disappointment. I was sure I was seeing something. I am, and that is a bloody medipack. Because that's just a wall up there. I think I am going to... Save here, finish the level, and if I find something I'll stick it on the end of the video, but... Um... It's probably me be get, getting overly nitpicky about something. Can I just say that I'm actually very impressed with myself because I have had Rebecca Black's Friday in my, so my, in my head all day and I haven't sang it once on this video. Even though it's been singing in my head a few times while I've been playing this. So uh, you are welcome. I would not wish to subject that kind of hell to uh, to anyone else. Right. And you know, I do quite like this. With a, I, I, I don't know um, if palm trees are perhaps the most accurate, but um, secrets three of three. 
interesting. I actually done three secrets in the last one as well, much to my surprise, and I forgot to say, but three of three. So I assume that the, I mean, this is so annoying having my sound down because it's all glitchy. So I can't hear the secret chimes, but presumably the one on top of the obelisk was one. And then the bit where I jumped in behind was another one. Where, 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 what would have been the third secret? Something underwater, perhaps? I'm not sure. But anyway, cool. Awesome. Uh, doing better for secrets in the last few levels than I expected to be, but cool. So, uh, once we go through this big huge door, um, we now have to deal with Atlantean senators that fire uh, exploding lumps of flesh at you. So, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Found it. I'm in the previous room. This is before we come back to the main room with the Sphinx in it. Yeah. Why, why thank you. Thank you very much, Glitchy Graphics, for giving me an extra medipack. You bet I'm going to overwrite my previous save. I have no concept of Let's Play purity.